What's up, Internet? Welcome back. This is Linzer22. Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming on March 20th. So in anticipation for that, I've already made two videos looking back at all the mainline Animal Crossing games. Now, in this video, I'm going to look at the spin-off titles, all three of them. That is Happy Home Designer, Amiibo Festival, and Pocket Camp for the mobile phones. But before I get into it, let me just remind you guys that this is a forum discussion video, so if you have any opinions on these games, leave it down below for discussion and subscribe for more content. So first off, let's talk about Happy Home Designer. This was the first game to utilize the Amiibo. And by the way, I actually got all of the Amiibo and I really like them. I remember it felt like Nintendo made too many Animal Crossing Amiibo because they were just sitting on shelves and nobody was buying them. I also have a couple of the Amiibo cards, and those could be used in the game as well. Now before I talk about this game, I do want to talk, the, talk about New Leaf, because New Leaf did get an update that utilized the Amiibo, it was like the Amiibo update or something like that, or Amiibo Welcome, I can't really remember what it is, but it was pretty cool. It, it was an excuse to go back into my original town and have some fun and utilize the amiibo that I just bought for Smash. So back to Happy Home Designer, this game was actually pretty fun, it was an interesting way to um, change up the Animal Crossing game. Instead of you having a town, you are an employee for Tom Nuke and you are assigned to design a bunch of different houses and all these animals are giving you different um, missions on ways to decorate this house so you have to decorate in that way. So it did it did feel limited compared to Animal Crossing in general but that's okay because it was actually fun. I actually really like this game and the way that they changed up the inventory system and the way that you can decorate, the grid being smaller if that makes sense. It was all awesome. The way that you actually designed the house, used a pen, it made me excited for the next Animal Crossing game. I knew that if they put this in the next Animal Crossing game, this would be perfect. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, the New Leaf did get an update and they added this to New Leaf. So it was actually better to decorate in, in New Leaf as well. My experience with this game is, I don't want to say I played as much as any of the other Animal Crossing games, but I did enjoy for what, it, what it's worth. I definitely give this an approval, and I think that if you are a fan of Animal Crossing, you really need to try this. Now on to the next game, it is Amiibo Festival. Imagine this, it's E3, and the Wii U is finally starting to prove that it can pull its own weight. But there's one game left that you're super ex excited about, or at least one game or one franchise, and that is Animal Crossing. You're like, this game is going to make the Wii U my number one console. So then you see Animal Crossing show up at an E3, but it's a board game. This game, you can honestly, you don't really need to try it. It's literally a board game without the mini games. It's just a board game. You literally uh, are on a board, you tap the amiibo to basically hit the die, and then the, the die or dice, not sure how many dice are involved, give you the amount of spaces that you walk. So you walk those spaces, you land on the spot, and then a story unfolds and you either get, gain bells or lose bells. It's, there's not much to it. There is a stock market that's actually pretty cool. If you play this game, do try to um, utilize the stock market because that's the only thing that really makes it fun. There is this camping mini game that, because there, there actually are a few mini games. All of them are terrible. Uh, well, I don't want to say terrible. They're, all of them are pretty bad, except for the camping game, the, the survival pet camping game. I actually really like that one, and I'm glad that that mini game has shown up in the New Leaf update as well. So you don't need to get Amiibo Festival to try it, but if you do have Amiibo Festival, definitely try the survival game. Last game is Pocket Camp. It's a mobile game. It has um, in-app purchases. It's actually a really good mobile game for having in-app purchases, but it has in-app purchases, so at the end of the day, I don't really care for it, and I cannot recommend it just because it's a mobile game. That being said, a lot of people who are not Animal Crossing games, I've noticed, actually enjoyed this game and downloaded it, and now are looking into Animal Crossing itself. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about all three of these spin-off games? Were any of these your cup of tea, or did you not like them and you're just really waiting for New Horizons. Let me know down below. And if you like discussion videos much like this one, subscribe and I'll be back with more.